There's a bucket on a post in the middle of a field. That's gonna help you not get lost. What's up guys? Dan here, Coal Cracker Bushcraft. That's right, today we're gonna to be talking about how not to get lost in the woods. Now, if you're an advanced level outdoor goer, advanced woodsman, you can still get misplaced for a little bit. It can happen to the best of us. I mean, I have already went out just recently and I start going somewhere and I feel like I don't know where I'm at. Now, I know the general area, so I find my way back, but it normally is because of one of two things. One of those things we're gonna talk about today and we're gonna utilize that way out there to teach you and that is called lateral drift and the second is terrain so let's knock terrain out because that one you're gonna deal with no matter what you do if you're walking downhill you're walking on a slope you're walking uphill you're walking on rocky loose ground you're walking along a stream bed okay nature is naturally not gonna allow you to walk a straight line so if you're starting here and you're trying to get to this lake that you saw on a map and you start walking depending on the terrain you might get pushed one way or the other okay so that is important to be aware of and you need to think about that generally your body's gonna take the path of least resistance so if we're on a hillside we're generally gonna naturally walk down that hillside if we don't think what's going on here okay we're generally gonna drift one way or the other so if the hill slope this way and you start walking you're naturally gonna go this way because it takes a lot more energy to keep going up that way or go straight but here's the thing okay if that doesn't happen, it's usually something called lateral drift. And I guess you can maybe tie the two together. I'm tying the two together. They're not the exact same thing. Terrain is one thing, but lateral drift is real. So we as human beings cannot just walk a perfectly straight line. We're normally going to drift to the right or to the left. And it could be for a variety of different reasons. Maybe one leg's longer. It might be your dominant eye. Your backpack might be heavier on one side, okay? It could be a ton of different things. So you need to know what your lateral drift is. If you know that, when you start walking and trekking into the woods and you're aware of this, you can correct for it very simply. But let's first show you how you find that. So you're gonna set something out in the distance, okay? In our case, we put out a, that's a bucket on a fence post. I'm gonna put it away from me and I'm gonna just walk towards it. Now you could do this with a tree, you can do this with a telephone pole in town, a light post in a parking lot, any of the above will work fine. All you're gonna do is you're gonna look down and you're not gonna force yourself to walk. You're gonna imagine you're trying to just walk straight. You can even just like blur out your eyes like you're looking at one of those crazy pictures that become 3D so you don't walk in anything or fall off a cliff and just start walking in that general direction. Really quickly, you're gonna see are you drifting to the right or the left? So I'm gonna show you on camera here what that looks like when I do it. So I'm gonna turn around, okay? And I'm gonna start walking towards that post, okay? So you can see, I drifted to the right. Not much, but I didn't walk too far yet. All right, if you didn't hear me screaming way back there, I said I drifted to the right a little bit. Now that is literally not that far at all. So if I was gonna do that again um, with a group of students, I would stretch that out maybe two or three times that distance, okay? If you walk and you feel like, hey, I don't have lateral drift, yes you do, you just need to walk further. So I drifted to the right, maybe only a foot or two, but over time, I mean, I know that that's my lateral drift. So I push that way just naturally as I walk. I'm right eye dominant, I'm right handed, so I think all that plays into it a little bit. What does that mean in the woods now that you figure that out? So when I walk in the woods, I generally have a tendency to move to the right. So as I'm walking and I go over a tree, I generally go this way. I generally don't go that way, okay, if I'm going over something. If the terrain gets rough, I find myself generally going more to the right, as I just normally walk, all right? Nice, the trees, maybe the leaves are starting to come out, and I'm walking and looking around, I'm generally going to the right. So if my plan was to park my car at location A and walk straight in and hit this little pond that I saw on a map. I'm probably gonna overshoot that to the right-hand side. So as I walk, I wanna try to force myself a little bit to keep left. 
So as I'm walking and I'm doing stuff, I personally, I generally know myself, I look to the right a lot more than the left. So I try to force myself to look this way. It makes me stay more on track. So lateral drift is a real thing. If you're using a compass and you go on a compass course ever, a lot of people, if they have a lateral drift to the right, or let's use to the left this time, because I keep saying to the right. So let's just say we have lateral drift to the left and you're using your compass. Those people generally look to the left more. They'll walk right past our tags that we have on trees with the next location because they're looking and they are pushing to the left often. So lateral drifts, real terrain, real. Keep those two tools in your toolbox and it will help you from not getting lost. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button down below. You can also check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. Just remember, carry a compass, know north, have a map, use all the technology stuff you can when you're gonna go out there so you don't get lost, but have this in your back pocket and you'll be good. Until next video, don't drift, stay in the woods.